because uh, you've just got to not let them win, you know, don't don't give them the satisfaction and just kind of laugh your cock off at them really because they are laughable i i think of every hater as a five-year-old kid and i think because people say why don't you ever argue back you know i think every hater is a five-year-old kid and would you have a row with a five-year-old kid no you wouldn't you'd just say ah oh, shut the fuck up and that's the way i feel it to me every hater is a five-year-old it's easy it really yeah. is easy yeah it is <laughs> Uh, do you ever watch uh, Dialing Pink, you know, Mr. LBX? The guy I who... got Dialing his uh, directorship. Ah. Um, right. So, yeah, I do. I know Dike very well, yeah. But what Dai does is he trolls people rather yeah. than yeah. kind of does anything else, if you like. So, well, so you agree off. with things like that, where he's, uh, you know, uh, just trolling people, having a laugh? Yeah, because, it, mind you, a lot depends on how you do it as well. Because, I mean, so, quite often... Um, Ken, Ken's right behind you. Position, I get a, oh, get <laughs> off me! Okay, wait. I need to reload. Oh, Reloading in here. Behind you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my leg, gosh. Get, get, off. get off me! You have to move. <laughs> Bye, Ken. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ken. Oh, I'm so sorry. Somebody, yeah. I'm so sorry. Oh, God. <laughs> This is Sorry, so we are about to go. Quick, we get have, that insta -kill. We have such bad manners here. Get him, get him, get him, get him. I'm surrounded by zombies. What happened to teamwork, you buggers? Um, we're here, we're here, we're here. Teamwork lost its way when you left us. Oh, he's grabbed me, he's grabbed me. No. Oh. No. I'm okay. outside, I'm screwed. <laughs> uh, got you. Okay. Oh, shit, what were we talking about? Whoa. I didn't, get you. Ping. I didn't get you. I didn't get you. Dialing ping, right. So so what Dai does, <laughs> some of what Dai does, I kind of look at and I just think, no. I mean, I just think no. And he knows this. I mean, he knows what I think. But, you know, so some of the trolling stuff is brilliant and some of the trolling stuff I think is just beyond the pale. And I get sent them all the time. People send me troll videos all the time saying, oh, look at this. It's a brilliant troll. Oh, yeah. God, that's terrible, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> there's always well, there's, we'll go again. Well, yeah, there's always room for two times. So, yeah, yeah. We, we can do another one. <laughs> so I do, I do see a lot of trolling videos, and uh, you know, in in all fairness, a lot of them are very funny. They're very enjoyable, and a lot of it is against people that thoroughly deserve it. You know, yeah. I mean, it, because the way they react to it. So you know, but I mean, if it's some <laughs> kid that starts crying, then I think. Nah, you know that's just bullying. That isn't that isn't trolling. That isn't having a laugh. That's just bullying. Yeah, that's true. So, bullying. Would you like to say have like an input in what he actually uploads or people that upload who are on the machine? Or die. Yeah, but th th that's the thing. You see, that's that's another thing that is quite dangerous about being a community manager is you you kind of you really want to get involved in the creativity of somebody's video. And you can't because you've got to stop and say, "Hold on, it's not my video." Yeah, I can't, <laughs> I can't take creative control of someone else's video. That's just wrong. So, <coughs> in saying that, if he uploaded something that, say, like he put like a, a little kid crying or something, you, you'd tell him to remove it immediately, would you, or would you just not get involved with that? I I wouldn't get involved in it at all. I mean, I just you know, literally, I just wouldn't get involved in it. I'd I'd leave him to deal with it and if uh, for whatever reason if um, you know machinima in the US when they when it goes through their quality control if they found a problem with it then they deal with it there end. so you know that's the it's kind of it's a get out of jail free card for me I'm a community manager I'm not the end result decision maker about what goes up and what doesn't so uh, you know that is a kind of get out of jail free card for me <sighs> I've talked a lot Nick stack your turn <laughs> I'm I'm focusing on the game so well. Um, oh, it is. <laughs> yeah, but I I don't know. I I guess I can say that I've been following Ken since the very beginning of his campaign, and his his campaign has just inspired me for such a long time. Since yeah, basically when he first That's started. Yes. <laughs> so I have to say it was actually Neekstek, the American, who uh, introduced me into the English guy's campaign called Ken Burton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it is quite funny, isn't it? I really hoped that at uh, some point we might. 
I don't know, it might have uh, managed to get this campaign a little bit wider. That's what on, I was thinking. Uh, get on some TV, get some publicity. But we just couldn't do it, you know. It, yeah. We tried, we didn't get there. And that's one of the things. Guys, where do I get ammo from? Uh, you don't. <laughs> you have to wait a little. <laughs> you have to knife. But yeah, uh, uh, that's what I was thinking for a while. Nervous. There we go. Uh, get that insta-kill. Get that insta-kill again. Knife him. No! <laughs> Yeah, but I, I honestly him twice. He didn't die. I honestly, nice. I honestly thought that the Ken campaign was just a brilliant idea, and it, it lasted for so long. And I'm glad that it did, and still people notice it once in a while. But you know, it's still being noticed, and I think that's good. Um, it hasn't yeah, it just is, died uh, out. It's up, yeah, it's up on the website, and uh, you know, I, I, another aspect of what I do, I guess, and I. I you know, a lot of people would never clue about this, but another aspect of what I do is uh, speak to a lot of parents, and uh, you know, a, a lot of parents are saying to me on a very regular basis, "Well, you know, m my kid's 15; they want this 18 plus game. You are you're doing this. You know, what, what's the situation with it? You know, and they, it's hard, I guess, for people to understand it, but yeah, especially parents. But uh, I think once. Once I've explained it to them and, and the pros and cons of it, I guess, you know, I leave it to them to make their own minds up. But ultimately, you know, I'll, t I'll try and help wherever I can. Ah, oh, die, you bastard. Yeah, because at the very end, they're the ones who to decide whether their children should be playing the games or not. So. Yeah, exactly. I won't make a decision for them. But likewise, I get uh, quite a few people... Uh, you know, who say, "Will you please talk to my mum or my dad or whatever?" They're they're really anti gaming of any sort because it's been on the news and gaming's bad and yeah. You know, so well, you know, I can't do that for you guys. You got to convince your own parents. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very true. And like once in a while in school, like I'll I'll tend to inform others of this campaign and how it how well it's done for me and how well uh. Basically, it's it's done for everyone else online and Facebook and all that. So I, I try to support the campaign beyond gaming. I try to put it up on my Facebook, anywhere that I have, any like social site that I'm on. Basically, I put give some support to the Ken campaign and you know help us fight cyberbullying and what's all it's worth. Get out. <laughs> oh gosh, what's going on here? See that that's that's really good news. I mean, because it goes far beyond uh, any for like cyberbullying or or whatever. I mean. You know, kids are kids are bullied constantly through instant messaging of any description, right? Wherever you get instant messaging, you'll get bullying, and uh, you know that's that's maybe one of the things that people don't really understand, and certainly the news never pick it up. You know, they all, they think it's all to do with Facebook, and uh, you know, if if there's cyber bullying, it must be Facebook or mobile phones. You know, yeah. they don't really understand it. It's it's, you know? it's never a kid's fault, is it? It's always a product's fault or yeah 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 very exactly. true yeah so we're gonna make a move guys go outside for a bit all right